Hey there, in this tutorial I'm going to cover how to set up a website in Adobe Muse that it will scroll horizontally. So in this example that I set up here, you can see that there's only one scrolling bar which is vertical, but the website scrolls horizontally and there's no more there's no more scrolling bars uh, horizontally, it's only one, one scroll bar. That's the way to do it professionally today, that is in, in Adobe Muse and also it will be responsive, it will be, it will adapt uh, from tablet screen size of a tablet and up to big uh, iMac screen or even TV screen, it's responsive. If you see here, if you, if you, if you go smaller, the content stays in the middle, this would be the, the size of a tablet and this will be the size I'm viewing, I'm viewing it right now from my laptop, so it will adapt to screen sizes from a tablet and to <clears throat> My screen is not very big, but it will it would adapt uh, to iMac very big screens or even TV screens. It will adapt perfectly. And so the way that you do this in Adobe Muse, if you want it to be responsive, first thing you do you start a new site, and you gotta uh, you gotta set the page width as big as a tablet uh, a tablet screen in pixels, which is seven six eight. This is the width of a of a tablet screen and uh, you have to center horizontally so all the content and background and everything it will be always centered in the middle and the rest it's totally up to you but i like it. i like to put the top and bottom at zero and the margins at zero as well but it, this is not not important for this uh, tutorial and then we can start <clears throat> now open the home page next thing we have to do is create the sections so in this case because i want to do it quick i'm going to make only three sections but you can make as many sections as you want uh, i'm going to remove the stroke of the browser because i don't like it and to create the sections that will scroll horizontally <clears throat> we have to create squares like you just grab the rectangle tool create any rectangle here change the color so that so that you can see it remove the stroke because it looks ugly and with the rectangle selected, what I do is I go to the transform panel and I set the white of this rectangle to be as big as the as big as you want the website to go. So I know that the smallest that it's gonna that it's gonna go is a tablet, a tablet screen size, which is from here to here. And now the biggest that I wanted to adapt to go, it'll be uh, I'll, I'll make it 17, 1700 pixels with, with which is a, a TV. So it will adapt from tablets to TVs. And first thing I do after I created this first section, I set the Y position at zero. Means it's going to start right at zero pixels. It's, a start, it's starting right at the top of the browser. And with this set at zero, I go to align and I say align content area and center it. So it will be in the middle. Now I'll zoom out to see. And here I have the first section. Okay. Now what I do for the second section, I just duplicate this uh, this rectangle. So I'll duplicate and I'll put it. It has to be exactly touching one one another. And the second one, I'll change the color to see where the section starts and finish. And I'll do the same again for the se uh, third section. Just duplicate this this rectangle and put it touching the other one. And I'll change the color to see where it where it's. Uh, starting and finishing the section okay now we have the three sections set and you can you can make as many sections as you want but for this tutorial I'll, I'll do it only with three and next thing you want to do is you want to create some content for your website so this is up to you how you're going to design it in this case I'm just going to drop one image here as example like this piece of um, I'll make this uh, rounded this would be Probably this would be the home page, and I'll put some dummy text. So, some text here. I'll make it white so that we can see it, and I'll make it big, and I'll make it um, lobster. Okay, and center it in the middle. Now, the the important thing here to remember is that anything, any content that you that you put on your website, it's gonna be within these two lines here, this this line and this line. You don't go beyond the lines because 
these lines determine a, the, determine the size of a tablet. So if someone is viewing this from a tablet, it means they won't see this further it's beyond the lines because their screen is this small in a tablet. So everything, all the content in the middle, you don't go beyond the lines. Uh, that's how you make it responsive. Now for the second section, I'm just going to duplicate this text here. And I'll do the same for the third section. I'll just duplicate the text here. But as I said, you can, you know, you'll, you'll design, you'll put all the content that you have to put. It's good to design visually first. So first thing you want to do is you design your website visually from here before you, before you actually start setting up the scroll effects or anything, you design visually. And when you're happy with this, then is when you set the, the scroll effects to scroll horizontally. But first, this would be, for example, the, the home page. This would be, I don't know, the about page. And this would be the contact page, for example. So I'll just drop a contact form here. Uh, I'll just put a simple contact form, like more or less in the middle. Not very important for this tutorial, but just for you to have an idea. This would be the website. All your, con your content would be put in place visually. Now you select every single thing, all the backgrounds and all the content, everything. You go to the scroll effects and you turn on motion. And now because you want it to scroll horizontally, you will set the, the initial motion going up zero because you don't want it to move up and down. You just want it to, to scroll horizontal. So, And the second option, scroll horizontally usually, uh, it'll go to the left. It usually it'll mo it'll move to the left, but it's totally up to you. If you wanted to scroll to the other side, it'll look good as well. But in this case, I'll put it moving to the left one time, and for the final motion, exactly the same: zero moving up and one moving to the left. If you start, if you put the initial motion mo moving to the left, you want to put the final motion moving to the left as well. And if you want it to move to the right, you put both of them moving to the right. That you have the, the initial motion and, and final motion is going to be exactly the same settings. Now, except for the last section, in my case it's the third section, I have only three, but if you have seven sections or ten sections, the last one, the last section, you don't want it to fly out. So zero final motion in, in both options. You don't want it to move anymore because it's the final section. You don't want it to, to be going away, flying out. So the last section, always zero for the final motion. And now the last thing is you have to set the key position individually for every section. So the first section, you select everything in it, background and all the content for the first section, and you set the key position at zero. Everything in the first section has the key position is going to be zero, which is where the where the first section starts starts at zero pixels at the top of the browser. So that's what you want to do. And the second section, everything will have to start where the where the section starts. Now we know that because we did the rectangles to be 1700 pixels by 1700 pixels, I know that this is the, the exact number. So I select everything and I put it and I put the key position at 1700. But if I can't remember what's the number, all you have to do is you select the background, which is the, you know, the, the square on the second on the second section, and you go to the transform panel and you look at the Y position. The Y position it always tells you where where starts where the object starts and that's what you want to know it's a starting at 1700 pixels so you know that everything within this section the key position has to start at 1700 pixels and the same for the third section you select everything and everything has to start the key position for everything has to start where the background starts which is in this case it's telling you here the y position 3400 so Select everything and set the key position at uh, 3400. And that is basically all that you have to know. If we preview this now on the browser, you'll see that you scroll down, but it scrolls to the side, second section and third section. And see, even though you keep scrolling down, it'll, it won't move. The last section it's not going to move anymore because we didn't put any final motion for this section because it's the last section. I don't want it to be flying out. I don't want it to be um, keep moving to the to the left. If I do, if I 
if I did put this like moving to the left one time like the rest of the sections, this is what happens. It will fly out like the rest of the thing, see? And you would see part of the, the, the footer and part of the browser. So if you wanna if you want to avoid this, you don't have to you don't have to care about the footer, about the browser or anything. All you do is just select everything within the last section and remove the final motion, set it to zero and it won't move. And so I think that was all for this tutorial. I hope you learned and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.